Hello, my name is Jeremy Hughes, Product Manager here at Horsch. And in today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Horsch AirVac metering system that we're using on the Maestro SV row crop planters here in North America. This new metering system has got several unique features to it, and we're going to review these features today and also talk about how to change between crops and how easy it is to set this meter when going to the field during your planting season. So when we look at the AirVac system today, it's a very simple system to operate in the field and also to convert between crops. When we look at the new AirVac meter, we have an electric motor that drives a center drive type meter here on the back. You can see here the center housing that's used to clamp in whichever disc that we want. We also have that option of different singulators that we can put in, and then also a door adjustment here to control the flow of seed that goes down into the bottom of the meter. Whenever we're looking at going between crops, there's two different types of singulators that we use. When you see the black one here, this one is used for corn. So on any disc that we have that we're doing any type of corn at, this would be the singulator we use for that crop. For soybeans, we simply change out the singulator to use this for soybeans on different style discs that we use for that particular crop. Another adjustment that you'll need to make is adjusting the seed door. The seed door adjustment can be made from the outside of the meter simply by moving this lever here at the rear of the meter housing. You can see here this door coming off of the seed cup and how it moves as I move the lever. Please consult your owner's manual for the proper door settings in order to create the proper seed flow going into the meter. For example, if I leave the seed door too open, especially in corn, and I create too much of a gap here and too much seed in the bottom, I can create excessive skips simply because corn, knocking corn off the disc as it goes through the pile that's in the bottom. You wanna be sure to have that pile as minimal as possible in order to maintain a good seed flow to get seed onto the disc, but also not be too much there that can actually knock seed off the disc as it's traveling through. Again, consult your owner's manual for the proper settings on the seed door inside the meter. Interchanging the singulators is very simple when you're moving between corn and soybeans. As you can see here with this spring clip, we simply take the singulator and press into the spring clip in order to install it. And switching back to corn, I push down on the bottom, I remove this singulator, I take the corn one, and clamp into place as so. Very simple and no need for any tools when swapping between corn or soybeans when you're using the new airbag meter. The other conversion that you'll do beyond the singulator that we just showed in the top of the meter is the clean out wheel that's used depending on which disc that you're using for a particular crop. The clean out wheels simply ensure that the holes stay clean so you can still maintain proper singulation, meaning that the seed will stay on the disc properly without any obstructions of any seed treatment or any foreign material that might build up. For example, this yellow wheel would be installed on the actual door that's on the meter by simply installing like so. Depending on the disc, the number of holes or the crop that you're using will determine which metering wheel you'll use. For example, this double row metering wheel is used on the soybean disc that we would use for doing beans with. You can see that this is, wheel is the same diameter. We simply undo the wheel here. Install the new one. And then this door would be ready for soybeans. So now that we have the corn singulator installed, and I showed you how to install the cleanout wheel in the cover, we'll now install the disc. So installing discs in the new airbag meter is very simple. You slide the discs over the hub, then you twist lock the disc in place. This secures the disc to the shaft in order for making smooth rotations as we're metering in the field. Once we have the seed disc installed, we then want to make an adjustment in order to maintain the proper tolerance against the singulator here in the back. We want to make sure that we've got it firm enough that we create good singulation, but we also want to make sure that we don't have it too firm to create excessive drag and create high amp draw on the motors. Simply remove the clip that you see here from the shaft, and now you can rotate the disc independent of the shaft as you see here. You can see if I keep turning the shaft in, 
you can see the end starting to come out. The rule of thumb is we want to turn this to where it's flush on top, like so, as a starting point. Once we have this adjustment made, we reinsert the clip, and then we're ready to go to the field with that adjustment. For some odd reason, if you think the meter is turning too high of amperage, we can always turn this out a little bit and readjust once we get in the field and get running. But as a rule of thumb, make sure that's flush before you start planting. The last thing I want to show you after we've installed the disc, after we've got the proper simulator installed, and we have our door set properly, is attaching the vacuum door. So your vacuum for your seed is pulled through this port right here that comes off the planter toolbar. Whenever I have all the components here installed, I simply take the door, place in the two hooks, and then attach the rubber latch here as so. This complete setup and the starting points that you'll need for getting into the field with the new air vac metering system. I hope this video has been very informative on the basic setup procedures for the air vac metering system. As you can see, the air vac is a very simple meter requiring no tools in order to switch between crops and also requiring no adjustments for performance other than the door for seed flow to the meter here that you see in the back. For more information on the air vac metering system, please visit www.horse.com or also visit your local horse dealer today to see this meter in action on the new Maestro planters.